Hi, three-year-olds, it's Joe Fury in the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. Well, as we work our way through Friday, I think it's uh, going to be just fantastic. We've got a bright night tonight. Yeah, it's the full cold moon as temperatures turn colder and getting back to December, really. And as far as Friday goes, sunglasses with the bright sun, the blue sky, temperatures are in the 40s. Overall, it's a pretty nice day on Friday. Uh, more sunshine than we had today. We had low pressure that's being pushed off to the south by the high coming down from the north out of eastern Canada. So that's bringing the, the cooler air and really just average December temperatures that'll be in play. And then as the high slides off of the uh, main coast, we'll get a uh, flow in off the Atlantic. And that means clouds are going to come in as we go through Saturday. But Saturday's a pretty good day. And then Sunday, during the daylight hours, fine. Once we hit towards sunset, a little low pressure system, a little bit of snow, enough to leave a coating to an inch or two. That's Sunday night into early Monday. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that to see if there's any surprises. If it, you know, all of a sudden decided to blossom and come into something bigger. And then I will tell you down the road, when we look uh, through the second half of December and into early January, some real big cold shots of air look like they're going to be, be coming here. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind to be ready for. Now, are there any big storms that would deliver big snow? Well, anytime you have a setup like this, that chance is increasing. So what we say, of course, is stay tuned. As far as uh, numbers to start your Friday in the mid-20s to low 30s, uh, with uh, maybe a little frost around, and the sun's up at 7.07. We're in the 40s tomorrow, sunny. Overall, it's a beautiful day on Friday. It's a light northerly breeze. And shoreline will be the warmest and may get a few upper 40s there. Friday evening, 30s, the moon is back out again. See the clouds coming in as we go through Saturday. Morning sunshine, increasing cloudiness in the afternoon. You guys in western areas might hold on to the sun for most of the day, while uh, eastern Connecticut turns cloudy much faster in the early afternoon. And you can see by the uh, time the sun goes down, most spots have the clouds, but you know, way over there on the New York border, you might, again, very well have a sunny day. Temperatures are, you know, pretty much in the 30s on Saturday. Maybe some low 40s at the coast. And Sunday's cloudy and cold. Keep it in the 30s. Uh, maybe near 40 in a couple of spots. The idea is that, well, we stay dry right through up until about sunset. And then some snow inland, a mix at the coast. Uh, that'll be the case uh, overnight into Monday morning. Again, Maybe just enough to leave uh, a couple of inches of snow in spots and make a little slick in spots going to early Monday, especially, of course, across the higher elevations. And then by late morning on Monday, it's gone. Some sun comes out before it goes down Monday afternoon and bright day on Tuesday. Bright night tonight with that uh, full cold moon and the planet Mars nearby. Mid-20s to low 30s by dawn. Low mid 40s, sunshine, a little bit breezy. It's seasonable. It's a nice day on Friday. And the eight day forecast Saturday morning sun, increasing cloudiness for the afternoon, near 40 at the coast, with uh, temperatures in the 30s inland. Stay in the 30s inland Sunday, near 40 at the coast. The bulk of the daylight hours Sunday dry, just cloudy. And then that snow, a little mix right at the coast, but snow Sunday night, early Monday. Uh, again, as far as accumulations go, stay tuned as we. Don't think this is a big event by any means. Uh, so right now, uh, you'd be talking about a coating to an inch or two. And uh, then the sun comes out Monday afternoon. And right now, it looks like uh, we're going to be uh, dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Next, really strong cold front. And this is the front that may bring the change in the overall pattern. That comes in on Thursday. Now, it looks like mainly rain, but we gotta, we got to watch that closely. And then uh, as we go in towards next weekend, that's when the first really bitter shot of air may uh, may be arriving so tune in the gill first thing on friday morning with the very latest update hope you're feeling well bye